Hello everyone. Hope you are all doing fine. Welcome back to Raw Online on this topic on tumors of the lung and the pleura. Why we should read in detail about bronchogenic carcinoma? Because it is the most frequently diagnosed major carcinoma in the world and it is the most common cause of cancer deaths and the preventable etiological factor is implicated in bronchogenic carcinoma that is cigarette smoking and it constitutes 14% of cancer diagnosis and 28% of cancer related deaths. So, this is a healthy lung and this is a lung which is having bronchogenic carcinoma. Epidemiology in 1950 we had just 18,000 cases in the world whereas it rose to 1,25,000 in 1988. That is the volume of increase and the load of lung carcinoma over the years. Now, after 40 years, the load is keeping on increasing and the death rate is now 20 to 75 percent per 1 lakh cases of diagnosis. 20 percent are seen in males, whereas 11 percent are seen in females. And the age, it is more common in the elderly age group. And male is to female ratio in uh, around 50 years before, it was just 7 males, we had 1 female affected by bronchogenic carcinoma, whereas in after 20 years, it shortened, the ratio is 2 is to 1. And Previously in females, breast carcinoma was the common cause, but for the past 3 or 4 decades, lung carcinoma is the most common cause of cancer in females also. So, we should know in detail about lung carcinoma. So, as I told, etiopathogenesis, we have tobacco smoking is the major culprit of lung cancer, followed by industrial hazards like uranium, radon and other uh, chemicals, genetic factors which make the person susceptible to develop lung carcinoma, air pollution and scarring because of any old healed lesions of the lung. So, in short, the risk factors include air pollution, radiation, organic chemicals, heavy metals, diesel exhaust and sec smoking direct smoking or passive smoking. So, tobacco smoking, it depends on the amount of uh, cigars the, or the cigarettes the person smokes. It is tenfold increase if the patient uh, person smokes 40 per day and it is high risk if it is 20 per day. If the pay person says completely stops the smoking habit, then the risk is equalizing with that of the normal population. Why we sh this tobacco is the major culprit in evolution of bronchogenic carcinoma? Because it contains various harmful substances which play a role as initiators and promoters of the chemical carcinogenesis. It also not only depends on the amount of daily smoke, but it also depends on the tendency to inhale the tobacco smoke and the duration of the smoking habit, whether it is present for a few years or decades together. Thus, tobacco and lung carcinoma go hand in hand. 80% of lung carcinoma are seen in active smokers who have stopped recently. More risk if it is very habitual and heavy in the persons who smoke. Lung carcinoma, it constitutes 11% of heavy smokers. So, what is a heavy smoking? Heavy smoker is a person who smokes 2 packs of cigarettes per day that too for a long duration of 20 years. So, 2 packs for 20 years. Women are also more susceptible to the, this tobacco carcinogen. These are all seen in, I am talking about direct smoking. There is also an entity which is known as passive smoking. We may be good, we may not have the habit of tobacco chewing or uh, smoking etc. But still, we are at increased risk because the persons next to us in a public uh, transport or in uh, roads or anywhere in the public places, they smoke. 
So, we are also increasingly exposed to the smoke which is twice the risk than that of the non-smokers. The genetic changes that these tobacco and its chemical carcinogenesis that produces in the bronchial epithelium, it persists for many years. So, that how that's how it evolves into lung cancer. So, this is passive smoking. This is the person who is smoking. They are all innocent people, but still they are all exposed to the risk of bronchogenic carcinoma. What is cigar? Cigar is a roll of tobacco wrapped in a leaf tobacco or in any substance which has the tobacco. Cigarette is a roll of tobacco which is wrapped in paper or any substance which does not contain tobacco. So, that is the difference between cigar and a cigarette. So, the cigars they do not have a filter. So, cigars are more dangerous. In rural India, especially the poor and the illiterate, they smoke the BD. So, it pr overall this smoking it produces uh, due to BD, it causes 2 lakh tuberculosis deaths and also evolution of bronchogenic carcinoma. So, thus for the previous 3 or 4 slides, I have been talking extensively about tobacco smoking and lung carcinoma. So, thus this cigarette it is going to produce damage to the lung because of its bad effect on the bronchial epithelium and the carcinogenic potential. So, from today we will have to propagate that there should be no smoking, say no to smoking. Next comes the industrial hazards. Uranium, it is one heavy metal which causes 5 times increased risk of bronchogenic carcinoma and that too if it is a smoker the risk is 50 to 90 times. Then the radon gas, asbestosis. So, previous lecture was about the pneumoconiosis and among these the asbestosis I was telling there is increased risk of bronchogenic carcinoma as well as the pleural mesothelioma. Other heavy metals like nickel, chromium, coal, mustard gas, arsenic, beryllium, gold mine workers, halo ether workers, newspaper workers, vinyl chloride, mustard gas and persons who are exposed to high dose ionizing radiation are all increasingly exposed to the risk of bronchogenic carcinoma.